Hi everyone and welcome to iCard. So to start off this look, I am first going to prime my face. And the primer that I'm gonna use is this L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer. The reason why I'm using this is because not only will it prime my skin, but it'll also give me a nice glow as well because Kendall is all about makeup, which looks like very natural, but her skin, but better. So we're gonna go for that kind of very natural looking makeup. I'm just putting this all over my face. So moving straight onto foundation, I'm gonna be using the NARS Weightless Stay All Day Foundation. It has a very, very long name, but it will be listed in the info box below. And I'm using this in the shade Santa Fe, and I'm gonna put just one pump of this on the whole of my face, because this is very full coverage, but you only need the tiniest bit, and it looks like your skin, but better. And because we've got the primer underneath, it's gonna give us a really nice glow. As you can see, a little bit of this goes a very, very, very long way. So now that our base is all complete, we're gonna go in and bronze. So the bronzer that I'm gonna use is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And this is a really gorgeous shade, which can be worn all year round. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start bronzing my face up in the usual areas. So I like to always take it on my forehead. So where my hairline is. And this is gonna just give us a really nice glow to the skin and make our skin look really nice and healthy and not all one color. Also taking this down my jawline as well. So now I'm just gonna set the other areas where we haven't applied any bronzer. So for that, I'm gonna be using the MAC Blot Powder and I'm gonna use the slightest amount just to set all the other areas in place. And this is just gonna help our makeup last a lot longer. So now that all of our powder is done, I'm just gonna add the slightest bit of this Bourjois Cream Blusher on top. And this is in the shade Nude Velvet, because Kendall doesn't wear that much blusher, especially really like colorful blushes. So this is just gonna give us a really nice natural glow to the skin as well. So now that our cheeks and our base is all complete, we're gonna move on to eyes. And as always, the first thing I'm gonna do is fill in my brows. So for that, I'm gonna be using this Liz Earl brow pencil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling my brows in with a very, very light strokes. Now we're gonna add the slightest bit of color onto our eyelids, and the palette that I'm gonna be using is this Clarins palette here and I'm going to take this shade right here, which is the third shade in, and I'm just gonna add a swipe of that on to my eyelids. This is just like a very natural looking eye, but it's just gonna make our eyes sparkle ever so slightly in the light. And then right at the end, you wanna make sure both of your eyes are looking as even in color as possible. Next up, I'm gonna add some mascara onto my top and bottom lashes, and I'm gonna be using this NYX Fly With Me Mascara. You guys know how much I love my mascara, so I'm going to add a good, I'm gonna say two layers of this on. And plus, Kendall just looks like she has amazing lashes, skin, brows. So we're gonna try and make it look as similar to hers as possible. I like to make sure right at the end that my eyelashes are looking as fanned out as possible. I'm also gonna add the tiniest bit onto my lower lashes as well. And I like doing this because it just balances the top and bottom lashes out. So just to make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker and fuller at the base, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Colorish eyeliner and I'm just gonna line my upper waterline. Now that the eyes and the base is all complete, we're gonna go straight onto lipstick. And because Kendall doesn't really wear very many bold lips on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm actually gonna go in with this Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Native. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually gonna put this onto my finger first and just blot the color on my lips. So it gives a really kind of like lived in natural lip color. Okay. 
And that's the final look. I've washed my hair and straightened it and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shine spray into it to make it look really nice and glossy. So the shine spray that I'm going to be using is this bedhead head rush and it smells incredible. I'm not going to pop this shine spray anywhere near my roots because I don't want it to weigh down my hair so I'm going to make sure that I'm concentrating the product from my mid lengths to the ends of my hair. So I've left my parting just slightly kind of messy but to one side and I'm going to make sure that every single piece of my hair is into this ponytail. So I'm going to be using a clear elastic tie to tie this all together. So what we want to do now is we want to split this ponytail into two. So we want to have the top layer as one half and then the bottom layer as the other. We want to make sure that they are directly on top of each other because that's what's going to make the braid look the way it looks. I'm now going to tie another clear elastic band about three fingers the way down from this top section. So I'm going to grab my clear elastic and just tie it here. Now once we've got this, I'm going to make a hole in this section. So what we want to do is literally stick your finger inside here and then with this hole we want to feed this hair through. So we're taking the section from the bottom and feeding it up. Now the next bit is very, very crucial because it will make the braid look a lot fuller. What you want to do with the back section that we've already tied, we want to make it a little bit tighter. So we just want to slightly pull at the braid. With this top section, we're going to do the same exact thing as we did before. So around about here, I'm going to tie another clear elastic. So now that I've tied this here, we're going to do the same exact thing as we did before. So we're going to put a hole in this section and then feed the back ponytail through the middle like this. And again, we're going to tug the back and make it a little bit tighter. Now we're going to basically repeat the same exact steps all the way down the rest of the hair. So grabbing this section. Adding a hair tie, making a hole, and then feeding this section through. And then not forgetting to tighten this section here. Again, taking the top section, adding a rubber band. a hole and feeding it through and obviously not forgetting to tighten the back. I just find that it makes the braid look a lot thicker. Now I think I'm going to do one more because I'm going to leave a little bit of hair at the bottom. I just find leaving a longer tail at the bottom makes the braid look even longer. So adding all of this section, feeding it through. I'm pretty happy with the length of this braid, so now just to make sure that everything is nice and secure, I'm just going to add another clear elastic just right about here. So now I'm going to start by pulling the braid out to make it look a little bit chunkier and a little bit bigger. So I always like to start from the top and all you want to do is slightly pull at the braids. And then I also like to pull this bottom section as well to make it look a little bit bigger. Now what we have to do to finish off the braid is simply break this hair tie right at the top. And there we have the final braid. Don't forget to click right here if you would like to see any more videos. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to subscribe as well to keep up to date with all the new videos going on on Icon UK. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.